Hello and welcome back to another show. I'm Sid and in today's video I'm going to be going over this eyeshadow filter effect which you can use on Instagram and Facebook. Pretty simple. This is rainbows but I also have here, it's a little bit harder to see but I have a little purple one here which is maybe not quite like you know what I'm saying. I made the eyeshadow rainbow one so you could see it more clearly and get a sense of what you might be able to accomplish. Obviously, I have no skill at this uh, Photoshop editing stuff. But hey, this is just a tutorial. You're the creative geniuses. You. Uh, yeah, it's pretty simple. Not much different than the lipstick one that I just posted yesterday. You feel free to check that out if you haven't already. Uh, but yeah, let's get straight into the video. We'll create a new project. I'll switch over to the FaceTime camera so you can see me. Uh, we'll add an object and a face mesh to our scene. Lovely. That appears inside of our face tracker. Now we can add a material layer. Hello. Come down to our material. And switch it over to uh, the shader type. We'll switch over to face paint. It makes me look like a ghost. But that's cool. Now we can minimize this for a second and that one as well and come over here where you can see I've already got my eyebrows <laughs> my uh, eyeshadow set up doesn't look too great especially uh, with all these layers in there but this is basically it so what I'm using is GIMP the photo editing software uh, Photoshop works fine but it's too expensive uh, and I can't be bothered to like, buy a license for that shit so I'm using GIMP which is free and open source uh, as well as the Spark AR Reference Assets Pack, which includes this face mesh and the, uh, the the masks and the faces underneath. All of the links to everything I'm going to be using will be in the description down below. Uh, yeah, so basically you want to import your one of your face meshes, whether it's a feminine or a masculine face, and then the face mesh with either trackers or without. You don't really need the trackers too much. Uh, that's these red dots here, but they do help uh, occasionally. You see I have two layers here, one for each eye. So I'll just hide those for now and we'll create a new layer. Uh, we'll just call it Rainbow Eyes. And then what we're going to do is very, very rough because I'm doing it a little bit quickly. You can obviously take more time. We'll use our free select tool. Cut right across the center of the eye because our mesh will cut out. Uh, the eye and that won't be tracked into the scene so you can actually cover it up while you're editing uh, and it won't affect the final outcome then what I'm going to do is just create a sort of crease above the eye grab our paintbrush tool uh, I've set the opacity down to about 25 already because uh, if I pull this back up real quick you can see that it's nice and blended onto my face. Anything, if it wasn't that opaque, if it wasn't a, uh, if, if it wasn't that transparent, then it would just pop straight out of my head, and it wouldn't look realistic. Even though this doesn't necessarily look realistic, it's mm, a little bit closer than you would otherwise get. So yeah, reduce the opacity a little bit, bring the size of the brush down, and then choose your colors. We're doing rainbow, so very quickly I'll give some red and yellow <laughs> sing it with me and this is bad but it doesn't matter it's a tutorial red and yellow and my art is not my artistic skills are not uh, the primary focus of this red and yellow and pink and blue how can I not remember I'm talking so this is this, this is why I make the two minute videos by the way, it's because while I'm talking, everything just slows down for me. Red and yellow and pink and blue, orange and purple and green. That's right, isn't it? I think. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know from rainbows. <laughs> orange and purple and green. Yep, so you just want to draw roughly along where you want. Obviously, this can be completely one color. You can adjust it yourself. You can create something a little bit more extravagant. You can even have like a drawing if you wanted to draw something inside of this yeah, you could oh, you could totally do that like oh look here's my 
cool art, but we're not doing that today. So here's this. You can also, if you want, blend. Oh, I made the uh, I made the brush too small. <laughs> uh, you can sort of blend in between these to make it a little bit smoother. Uh, yeah. So then we'll come back over and we'll look at. So that eye is pretty much done. Now we're gonna add, not add a second layer. Sorry, we're gonna duplicate this layer. So if you right click on it and select duplicate layer, it will create an identical copy of it, which you can drag around. We're not gonna drag it just yet. We're gonna flip it by tapping this flip ho uh, flip horizontal tool, and then click on our new layer, select our move so that we can drag it around. And as you can see, it now fits pretty much perfectly. So we could just drag it over here. It saves us the time of having to draw two separate eyes, uh, two separate eyeshadow things. Uh, and now if I remove these two layers, or at least that one, you can see we have something slightly resembling whatever Shane and Jeffrey get up to on their weekends. So we'll uh, fully hide the backgrounds. Uh, so we just have this PNG file, this transparent background. And we'll export that to our desktop. Rainbow eyes. PNG straight to the desktop. I spelt rainbow wrong. I don't care. Now we'll minimize this. Pull up our original project. Here I am with my makeup on. We've set our shader type to face paint, so that's why I'm all transparent and ghostly. Uh, and then we're going to come over here to texture. Choose our file. And we're going to choose rainbow eyes. You can already tell I've done this a couple of times. <laughs> rainbow eyes. And now, there we go, tracked onto our face. My camera's a little bit, it's a webcam on my Mac, so it's quite low quality. But as you can see, pretty much tracks on. I'll show you what it's like as a uh, standard. And flat. But you can sort of tell what, I'm, what I mean when I say, it. like physically based even kind of, kind of works. But face paint is pretty good too. You can play around with it, test it out. I would also recommend playing down here with the render options so you can see the way it, you can reduce the opacity even more. Maybe bring it down to like, I don't know, 60. Just give it that more natural like look. Uh, the background influence, which is how much the, uh, how much of the light reflection is influenced by What's behind the what's behind it in the scene? So if you set it to zero, it's not influenced at all by what's behind. But if you increase it, I look so weird doing this. Yeah, we'll just leave that 100 for now. And again with the brightness, I'm not exactly sure why reducing it makes it like this. Eventually it goes white. It's weird. You just sort of have to play around with these settings a little bit until you find what you want. But once you're happy, uh, then that's pretty much the effect. I would recommend. If you are going to test this on a device, that you come down into the texture and under manual compression, check the box to prevent compression. So you want no compression when you export to these uh, devices. You can also add, uh, you can also come up here to properties, sorry, project and edit properties. Uh, and under the compression, you can increase the quality to 100%. So that these small uh, PNG files, they're very like, like they're very small images on a large transparent background. So when they get uh, sent to an iPhone or an Android, they will be compressed and they might show up as blurry. I had the same problem with my, uh, when I did the white, uh, the, the white colored eyes, the red eyes, whatever. Uh, you have to, uh, like I say, uh, eliminate the compression and then uh, should be fine. Yeah, so that's pretty much the entire effect. That's uh, eyeshadow. We've done lipstick now. I'm probably going to do uh, <laughs> eyelashes, freckles, blush, that sort of stuff. And then eventually I'll show you how to layer all of that together to just create a full face makeup look. Uh, if you like this video, leave a like, leave a comment, let me know what you thought. Uh, I know these are silly, the little makeup ones, and most of the tutorials are basically the same thing. Just me showing you how to draw something simple in. Uh, follow it shop or gimp and then import that image and track it onto your face if you enjoy these then i will eventually get to a point where i'm showing you maybe some more advanced uh some more advanced 
tutorials, things like tap to touch and how to interact with the patch editor, uh, that sort of stuff. I'm working on that behind the scenes right now, just sort of getting to grips with it, as well as teaching myself how to make these videos and uh, getting into the habit of uploading at least once or twice a day. Uh, it's been fun. I just passed uh, 10 subscribers. Technically it's 11, but uh, I was the first one using another account. So officially we've just passed 10 subscribers. There's 10, I would say real people, but I'm not 100% sure watching this. Uh, and I appreciate that. Thank you very much for being here. Uh, if you aren't subscribed and you've seen this video and you've made it through whatever, 10 minutes, uh, maybe, maybe leave a like, maybe subscribe. I don't know. Let me know what you thought. Let me know if you made it this far. Uh, follow me on Instagram. <laughs> I'm just rambling now. Drop your Instagram in the comments. I'll go check out your filters. You can show me your eyeshadow and how much better you are at Photoshop than me. Basically, this is how all my videos end. I just sort of run out of space. Uh, run out of space in my mind <laughs> and start rambling. Uh, I said space because it's showing me on my, uh, on my keyboard how much... How many gigabytes this video is? 11 minutes, 2 gigabytes. That's a lot of gigabytes. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. There will be a 2 minute version of this. So if you made it all the way through this 11 and a half minute video and you didn't learn anything, <laughs> just go watch that where I say a lot less and do a lot more in a lot shorter amount of time. Right, I've said bye about 10 times. So I'm going to do it one more time and then I'm gone.